Hi, I'm Brad Hamblin with Cardinal Financial. I close home loans. I've been doing this now for 19 years. Um, today, we're gonna be talking about uh, tax planning for 2021 taxes. So it's the end of the year. Um, you're looking at adding up your numbers, figuring out like what your total profit and loss were for the year. And I just wanna talk about, point out a couple things about if you're planning on buying a house in 2022, what you should think about when you're preparing your taxes for 2021. So when we prepare your, when we review your income, we're gonna look at the last two year average on what your net income is, and we're gonna be able to add back in a few things. Well, your CPA or your financial, um, the person that's preparing your taxes is actually gonna have a direct opposite relationship to what my goal would be. So my goal is to see as much income as I possibly can. And the person preparing your taxes is gonna be wanting to show as least amount of money as income as possible because that's what your tax liability is based off of is your net income. So when you're calculating your numbers, here's a couple things that I wanna point out that you can um, add back in above and beyond your net income. So when you're looking at making your expenses for 2021, make sure that you minimize your expenses to maximize your profits. Um, hopefully you did that throughout the year so that you're having a better year than you did last year. So the income is consistently showing going up. The other thing that we get the benefit of is that uh, as after you have your net income, we get to add back in depreciation. So if you have assets that you're depreciating and that's an expense that you're claiming because depreciation is a, an expense on paper, we're able to add that back in as income. So if you have a ton of a depreciation as an expense, that's okay because we'll be able to add that back in. The other thing that's an expense that we get to add a portion of it back in is mileage. So if you have a lot of business mileage, you get to add back in a portion of that. For instance, like I think last year, it was 26 cents per mile that we get to add back in as like a depreciation expense. So you get to add back in 26 cents of every mile that you get to, that you expense. And it may be up to 27 or 28 for this year coming up. So those are a couple of things to look out for, because again, we're gonna use the average of the last two years. You wanna see incline in income so that the income is consistently going up and um, we can add back in depreciation, mileage, and there's a few other things, but those are the two big ones that you can add a big chunk of income back in for. So if you're planning to buy and you wanna talk about the strategy of like how to set your taxes up, um, feel free to reach out to me and uh, we can have a quick brainstorming session. Um, email me below or give me a call. Have a great day.